Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Still in chapter 4 chemical reaction stoichiometry and we're going to focus on 4.2 stoichiometry and today we're going to learn about limiting reactant and some calculations. So, introduction. Let's say if to produce one happy couple, we must have one girl and one guy. What if we have this amount of girls and this amount of guys? Okay. How many happy couple can we produce out of this? We got 5 girls and we got 8 guys. And guess what? We got five couples, five happy couples because and in these five happy couples we got all five girls involved and we only got five guys involved in this case and we got five happy couples. What about the other three extra guys there? Okay, so since girls limits the product that we produce which is the number of happy couples because they don't have enough pair with guys the amount available is five girls and we need eight girls actually to complete but then because of the amount available is less than amount needed so the girl is called the limiting reactant meanwhile the boys i mean the guys the amount available is eight and the amount needed is five so we have more than what we need so it is excess reactant so basically limiting reactant is the reactant that is completely consumed in a reaction habis dipakai and limits the amount of product form Okay, macam mana kita mau tahu limiting reactant? Tips dia adalah kita tengok dia punya mole Because after all stoichiometry is mole comparison Jadi kalau mole needed is more than mole available We need more Okay Selain pada perkataan ini kita boleh pakai perkataan required Kalau mole available perkataan yang kita boleh pakai adalah Provided ataupun given So kalau mole needed more than mole available Itu tandanya limiting reactant So here some little tips to determine limiting reactant Step pertama adalah find mole of reactants dulu And then compare mole needed dengan mole available Okay, kalau mole needed more than mole available Then it is limiting reactant Tapi kalau mole needed is less than mole available It is excess reactant Let's have a look at the first example Kita ada S plus 3F2 produced SF6 So if 4 moles of S reacts with 10 mole of F2 Which of the two reactants is the limiting reactant? So, 4 mol of S available, dia sudah bagi di situ dalam soalan And then for F2, we have 10 mol of F2 available Okay So, since we already have both moles available So, mari kita kira Berapa mol yang needed So, kita kasih keluar ayat keramat kita dulu From balance equation, 1 mol of S Okay, will react with 3 mol of F2 So, kalau ada 4 mol of S Ada berapa mol F2 yang diperlukan sebenarnya? So, kita letak X di sana. And then, kita cross multiply. We should get X equals to 4 times 3, which is equals to 12 mol of F2. Ini adalah mol F2 yang needed untuk react dengan 4 mol of S. Now, kita sudah ada mol needed untuk F2 dan kita ada mol F2 yang available. So, kita compare mol F2 needed versus mol F2 available. Mol F2 needed, we have 12 moles. Dan mol F2 available ada 10 moles. So 12 is greater than 10. Which means mol F2 needed is bigger than mol F2 available. So kita perlu lebih daripada yang kita ada. So F2 is limiting reactant. Let's look from the other perspective. Kalau kita buat cara yang kedua ni. From balance equation, 1 mol of S reacts with 3 moles of F2. Okay, so tadi kita tetapkan mol S kan? Apa kata kita tengok pula kalau kita tetapkan mol F2? So, we have 10 mol F2 available. So, kita perlu berapa mol S? Kita letak X di sana. And then, kita cross multiply. So, 3X equals to 10. So, X equals to 3.333. That is the mol of S yang kita need, yang kita perlukan. Needed. To react with 10 mol of F2. Next, kita compare mol S needed versus mol S available. So, we we need 3.333 mol and we have 4 mol available. So, lagi besar 4 kan? So, that means mol S available is bigger than mol S yang diperlukan. Jadi, maksudnya kita terlebih S lah kan? That means S is the excess reactant. Automatic, the other reactant which is F2 is the limiting reactant. Let's have a look at the second example. 10 grams of zinc is added to a beaker containing 0.18 mol of hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. 
so determine the limiting reactant and the mass in grams of hydrogen gas produced. So first thing adalah kita hasilkan equation dulu. So we are given with zinc, Zn, grams kan? So reacts with HCl to produce zinc chloride. Okay, so by the way, zinc is solid and HCl is aqueous, sebab acid. So zinc chloride is ZnCl2 and hydrogen gas, of course, H2 in gas form. Cut it short, mari kita kasih balance terus. Just tambah 2 di depan HCl. So this equation is already balanced. Okay. Next, kita kasih list down maklumat yang dia bagi. So we have 10 grams of zinc and 0.18 mol of HCl. So mol tiada masalah. Zinc ni masalah, saya so, dia bagi gram. So kita kena cari mol dulu of zinc yang reacted. So from mass mau pergi mol, kita kena bahagi dengan molar mass. So 10 divided by 65.4, the molar mass of zinc. And you should get 0.1529 moles. So next, kita kasih keluar ayat keramat kita. From balance equation, 1 mole of zinc reacts with 2 moles of HCl. So if I have 0.1529 mole of zinc, how many moles of HCl yang kita perlukan? So kita letak X di sana, cross multiply, so X equals to 2 times 0.1529, then you should get 0.3058 mole of HCl needed. Next step adalah kita compare mol HCl needed versus mol HCl available. So needed is 0.3058 yang kita kira tadi and available in the question is 0.18 mol. So that means we need more than what available there. So HCl is the limiting reactant. So let's go to the second part of the question. They're asking for the mass in gram of hydrogen gas produced, the product here. So we have to refer to the limiting reactants because the limiting reactant is the one who limits and decide how many products that we produced. So mau tidak mau, the first step is you have to find the limiting reactant. And after you find the limiting reactant, then only you can use the mole of limiting reactant available and compare it to the mole of product. And by the way, we already find the limiting reactants in this reaction, which is HCl. And the mole of HCl available is 0.18 mole. So, keluarkan ayat keramat kita. 2 mole of HCl will produce, okay, 3 garis, 1 mole of H2 from this balance equation. So, if I have 0.18 mole HCl available, that means we're gonna have to find what is the mole of H2 produced, X. So, cross multiply, 2X is equals to 0.18. So, X equals to 0.09 mole of H2 produced. Oh, but then we're not done yet because the question is asking for mass. So mass of H2 produced is equals to moles times molar mass, which is 0.09 mole times dengan molar mass of H2 is 2 times 1. So you get 0.18 grams of H2 produced. Now let's try another example. An aqueous solution of MgSO4 is added to an aqueous solution of BaCl2 to form BaSO4 and MgCl2. If 1.75 grams of MgSO4 and 2.75 grams of BaCl2 are used, determine limiting reactant and calculate the mass of BaSO4 produced after reaction has completed. So, kita ada reactant kita MgSO4 dengan BaCl2 while BaSO4 dengan MgCl2 are the products. So, the equation would look like this. MgSO4 aqueous plus BaCl2 aqueous produce BASO4 aqueous plus MgCl2 aqueous. Now let's check whether the equation has been balanced or not. Kalau kita tengok semua, 1 Mg, 1 Mg. 1 S, 1 S, oxygen is balanced and Ba also balanced. So basically this equation already balanced. So now let's proceed. Okay, so we are given with 1.75 grams of MgSO4 and 2.75 grams of BaCl2. Tapi, since stoichiometry is small comparison, let me just remind you that. So, kita apa-apa pun kena cari mole dulu, walaupun tidak diminta dalam soalan. So, cari mole of MgSO4. So, mass over molar mass. So, 1.75 divided by the molar mass of MgSO4. We should get 0.01453 mole of MgSO4. Now, the mole of BaCl2 is equals to mass over molar mass juga. 
2.75 divided by the molar mass of BaCl2 and you should get 0.013202 mole of BaCl2 and these two are the mole available so we got our mole available mass untuk keluarkan ayat keramat from balance equation 1 mole of MgSO4 reacts with 1 mole of BaCl2 so if I have 0 0.01453 mole MgSO4 will be x mole of BaCl2 needed right so kita pun cross multiply macam biasa so x equals to 0 0.01453 moles of BaCl2 yang kita perlukan needed so next step kita compare mole BaCl2 needed versus mole BaCl2 available so 0 0.01453 adalah mole BaCl2 needed and 0 0.013202 mole BaCl2 available so mana lagi besar so ternyata needed is more than available we need more than, than what we have so therefore BaCl2 is limiting reactant so settle part 1 now second part of the question is calculate the mass of BaSO4 produced after the reaction is completed so kita sudah ada balance equation and kita sudah ada mole of BaCl2 available which is the limiting reactant jadi kita boleh proceed untuk cari berapa mole of product yang form so ayat keramat kita macam biasa so from balance equation 1 mole of BaCl2 produce 1 mole of BaSO4 okay so 0 0.013202 mole BaCl2 produce x mole of BaSO4 darab silang x equals to 0 0.013202 mole of BaSO4 produced since soalan mau mass so kita kena cari mass lah so mass of BaSO4 produced is equals to 0 0.013202 mole times dengan the molar mass of BaSO4 and you should get 3.0814 grams of BaSO4 produced. Now you may test yourself with this passive question. Remember, to find limiting reactant, you must first have balance equation and then you must have mole reactants available. If they give you mass, change to mole. And then the third one, from balance equation, you can find the mole needed. And number four, Compare the mole available versus mole needed, you can decide which one is the limiting reactant. And to decide the amount of product, we can use mole of limiting reactant available compared to mole of products. So even if the question doesn't asking for limiting reactant, kita kena tetap cari limiting reactant dulu sebelum tentukan amount of product. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Yeah!